You realize you are insane. Listen, we can't. No, no we can't. Yes, we can. Okay. Listen, I gotta tell you. So I gotta tell you something. No. You don't want to do this with me. No, I. Um, cause I have hypoglycemia. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. Diabetics. People walk for diabetes. Raise charity money. People with cancer, they have relay for life. Hypoglycemia has nothing. It's rough. Nobody understands me. Nobody knows what it is. Nobody would even know how to treat me if I ever had a hypoglycemic shock or anything. Hypoglycemia? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh-huh. No? Um. Something with their liver? <laughs> Something to do with blood. Hey, what's hypoglycemia? Hey, what's hypoglycemia? I mean, maybe some of you'll get it. Through blood contact, because I was saying, you know, with the blood, maybe it's with the blood or sexually. I think sexually, maybe. <laughs> Is that right? Um, I think you'd maybe get a medication for it. I don't know. It might be, um, maybe get a medication, surgery. I thought it means you don't have sugar, so you're sad all the time. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a doctorologist or anything. I googled it and there are like four and a half million hits for hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia by strict definition is a low blood sugar where you dump a bunch of sugar and syrup you know into your system your insulin dumps in and does its job and then your blood sugar goes too low. If I was Popeye, this is my spinach. Sugar, bad. High fructose corn syrup, good. But, let's take a look at the ingredients here. Carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, and or sugar. It's like Russian roulette every time I want to have a seven. The number one side effect of feeling hypo, headache. The number one cure for the headache, Advil. The problem with this is, what is the 12th ingredient in Advil? Sucrose, aka sugar. The first thing that gave me a headache in the first place. Hemorrhoid tablets to everybody, right? What happens to me? Okay. Sugar, directions. Squeeze a small amount of cream onto your fingertip. Apply cream onto itchy, irritated skin outside of the penis. Sometimes I feel like that guy. Like I'm the only white duck. Sometimes I just want to bury my head in my feathers too. It's a good thing I have my friend Matt. He gets me through these times. And I, I'm more really responsible and want to be like everybody else. Matt's there to protect me, to save me. It's true. I'm, I'm friends with, with a hypo. Um, his name's Dan. He's my best friend. Uh, we've had some great times together.
Um, sometimes he gets into trouble. He he like he likes his sugar, and uh, sometimes I gotta I gotta be there to you know tell him no. I usually carry around stuff uh, for him, basically cheeses and um, actually for his birthday, I uh, carried around a New York strip for him, and the one day he decides to not eat sugar. Actually, it's the, it's a funny story. Uh, Dan was in a bar and they were they were serving uh, daiquiris, all, all kinds of different daiquiris, and uh, and Dan decided that he wanted to try every single one on the bar, so so he did, and he ends up passing out on the bar. Um, no one's really no noticing him, but this one girl, thank God, um, saw him passed out and went to get him a breakfast sandwich, um, and that that saved him. Uh, I'm so I wasn't actually there for it. I heard she was pretty hot, but. Uh, but you know that's that's one of those times where I wasn't there for him, and and luckily someone was there. You see our cabinet. Uh, we don't keep a lot of sugar around, but you know sometimes we have to have it, and so we keep the uh, the sugar up here. Um, he's just a little guy; you can't reach that. So. If I can add just one more thing, sure. there's a lot of information about this on the internet. 